When we were in school, we were taught to study hard, get good grades, and go to reputable colleges. After we finished school, we were told to work hard for good companies and save money. This is what Robert Kiyosaki calls the poor dad approach in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. However, in today's world, things have changed. Prices are going up faster and jobs are not as secure as they used to be. So, simply saving money in a bank is not a great idea anymore. Robert Kiyosaki, a famous Japanese-American entrepreneur and businessman, once said, Why would I save money when they print money? Do you ever wonder why it is a good idea to save money even when the government can make more of it? Yeah, we can work hard to save money, but the government can print more as needed. Kiyosaki questions conventional wisdom and introduces the cash flow quadrant, a new way of thinking that places individuals into four distinct groups. Employees, self-employed or small business owners, big business owners, and investors. Understanding which quadrant you are in can help you better grasp the mindset and principles that either hold back or support your financial path. So let's start by taking a close look at cash flow quadrant to get a better understanding of it and figure out where you fit. Each quadrant accurately shows how we make money, how secure that income is, and how much financial freedom it offers. At the end of the video, we will learn how Kiyosaki's 5 golden tips can help you to be successful financially. First, let's take a look at the employees quadrant. This is where many of us were told to aim for when we were in school. In fact, it's where most people find themselves in the working world, the 9 to 5 job, with a steady paycheck. While this income source may seem secure among all other quadrants, employees often have limited control over their earnings, very little free time, and not so much job satisfaction. Next. Take a look at the self-employed or small business owners quadrant. They are the ones who have a little bit more freedom and control over their time than employees. They own small businesses such as freelancers and gig workers. However, their income heavily relies on their efforts, so they may not have stable incomes. The growth potential is very limited in the long run. Then, let's see the business owners quadrant. These are the people who initiate and operate successful companies. They have created a system generating cash flow for themselves companies like Tesla and Meta. Business owners create a company, as known as a system, that has employees working for them. As the owners, they are doing very little work for the companies or even not working at all by hiring managers overseeing companies for them. This group of people has the potential to reach the most wealth and freedom. The growth for them is unlimited since they are leveraging employees' time and wisdom to generate wealth. Finally, it is the investor quadrant. Not like employees are working for money, investors are having money working for them 24-7. They strategically allocate their money into real estate, stocks, and various businesses. They understand the power of compounding and are sensitive to the market shifts. By doing so, they enjoy massive passive income and long-term stability, which grants them the highest level of freedom. By moving from the left side, where you are an employee and small business owner, to the right side, as big business owners and investors, you can gain financial freedom long-term stability, and free time even when you are not physically working. The main point is to know how to utilize resources and leverage to generate income for you. Now, let's see what average people like you and I can invest in. The first method is real estate. This is Kiyosaki's favorite way to make money. He recommends us to do thorough research, take out a mortgage, and buy a property to start the investment. Every month, the rent we receive is able to cover the mortgage leaving us with extra money which becomes the positive cash flow into our pockets. Once the mortgage is paid off, we will be able to collect all the rents as income. Over time, the value of properties tends to rise which is another benefit known as appreciation. Real estate can also serve as an asset we can pass down to the next generation. Investors like Richard Peary and Donald Bren have earned significant wealth through real estate. The second method is owning businesses. Kiyosaki said this is a great way to generate wealth. As we can see, there are so many wealthy people who are business owners. Starting your own business or purchasing an existing business can make a lot of money for you in the long run. For example, Elon Musk owns multiple companies like Tesla and SpaceX and became the richest man in the world. People like him not only become rich themselves, but also create opportunities for their families to be wealthy for generations. The third option is paper assets. Stocks, bonds, index funds, and mutual funds are classified as paper assets. Kiyosaki says they are easy to buy and sell quickly. Paper assets are the most liquid assets you can have in the market. However, he suggests we should be knowledgeable about the asset before investing our hard-earned money into it. Well-known investors like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger are always doing their due diligence before purchasing stocks. 
Both of them have spent extensive time researching a variety of businesses. Lastly, we have commodities. Commodities are raw material and agricultural products. Gold and silver are examples of commodities. Kiyosaki believes that gold and silver can preserve their value for a long time, especially in challenging economic environments. They are scarce. We only have limited supply available in the market. Not like paper currency, governments can print as much as needed. Therefore, Kiyosaki calls precious metals God's money. Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater Associates, also recommends purchasing gold as part of an investment portfolio. In the 2008 financial crisis, one ounce of gold initially dropped down to $1,036 at first. Then, gold price went all the way up to $2,472 per ounce in 2011. In the meantime, people who invested in stocks are losing a lot of money. In order to save the market, the government printed more money to increase liquidity. That directly led to the higher gold price. Gold is considered a good investment against inflation. Not quite the same as gold, silver is widely employed in different industries. National defense, electronics, medical equipment, and solar panels are all having silver as components. So silver is not only a precious metal, but also a vital industrial commodity. Agricultural products like corn and wheat are also classified as commodities. As the global population grows and people change diets, the demand for food will not be the same as before. As a result, investing in these agricultural products is a way to participate in the global food market. When the supply and demand shift, it is your time to make money. By investing in agricultural products, you are ensuring an adequate food supply for everyone. Investing in real estate, business, paper assets, and commodities, you will diversify your investment in different fields. This diversification helps protect your assets from significant impacts, regardless of economic fluctuations. Now, let's see Kiyosaki's five golden tips. 1. Create a system that builds wealth for you. Things like real estate and business. These assets will bring in cash flow and increase value as time goes on. Let your money work for you, multiplying your wealth over time. 2. Prioritize your financial literacy. Always educate yourself about financial knowledge. Identify risks and opportunities for investment. 3. Utilize debt smartly. While debt can seem intimidating, strategically leveraging debts can earn you favorable returns. 4. Make friends with people who want to build wealth like you. Work with them so that you can learn valuable knowledge and experience from them. 5. Embrace failures as learning opportunities. Failures are not scary, as long as you can learn from them. Now you know instead of keeping money in the bank, there are smarter investment options where you can invest your money and the assets you acquire over the years can produce wealth for you down the road. Most importantly, you will be able to have control over your time and enjoy the amount of freedom that most people dream of. Kiyosaki says the more you learn, the more you earn. With the right mentality and knowledge, you can start your journey to build generational wealth. Thanks for watching. I hope you gained some valuable insight today. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. See you next time.